Okay, welcome once again to the 2019 Joint Prize Ceremony. We will be honoring recipients of prizes given by our professional societies, the AMS, the AWM, MAA, SIAM, and JPBM. These prizes recognize exemplary contributions to mathematics and to the mathematics community. As president of the AMS, I thank you all for being here and hope that you enjoy the ceremony. The first set of prizes will be awarded by the president of the MAA, Deanna Hounsberger. Deanna. Thank you, Ken. The first prize that we present today is the Chauvenet Prize, given to the author of an outstanding expository article on a mathematical topic. This year's recipient is Tom Leinster for his article, Rethinking Set Theory, which appeared in the American Mathematical Monthly. In this paper, which is written with clarity and finesse, Tom considers an alternative to our usual list of axioms of set theory, often referred to as the Zermelo-Frankel axioms, plus the axiom of choice. Tom's alternative, based on work of Logra from the 1960s, is a list of 10 axioms that can be easily understood and accepted by any undergraduate math major. Tom is not with us today, but let's give him a round of applause. Our next prize is the Euler Book Prize, which is intended to recognize authors of exceptionally well-written books with a positive impact on the public's view of mathematics and to encourage the writing of such books. The winner of this year's Euler Book Prize is Kathy O'Neill for her book, Weapons of Math Destruction, published by Crown in 2016. Weapons of Math Destruction tackles an important issue, the dark side of data science, in a thoughtful way. Kathy convincingly and passionately argues that math is not just for solving the world's problems. It is also responsible for fueling some of them. Kathy's discussion of ethical issues and how mathematical models, data, and algorithms are used to manipulate society is important both socially and politically. The book is exceptionally engaging, drawing on personal experience, professional expertise, and careful reporting. Kathy, we congratulate you on receiving this year's Euler Prize. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And uh, would you like to come? Next, we honor three outstanding teachers of mathematics through the Deborah and Franklin Tepper Hamel Awards for Distinguished College or University Teaching of Mathematics. Our first recipient is Suzanne Doré of Augsburg College. Sue Doré is recognized for her exemplary teaching, innovation, and leadership, not only at Augsburg College, but also nationally through her work at the Dana, with the MAA, the Charles A. Dana Center, and numerous presentations and workshops on campuses throughout the U.S. Sue is an expert teacher of mathematics who goes to extraordinary lengths to help students at all levels learn mathematics. She challenges students to rise to their ability through productive struggle, and as an academic advisor, she challenges them to reflect deeply on academic and career path choices. Sue, congratulations on receiving this high mole award. Let's do this correctly. There's, I, would you, do you have, Comments? Thank you. <laughs> Our second HIMO Award recipient is Carl Lee of Central Michigan University. Carl Lee is recognized for his outstanding contributions to teaching and learning in the mathematical sciences, particularly in statistics. He is an innovative and engaging teacher and an inspired mentor. Carl is a pioneer among statistics educators. He developed the NSF supported real time online hands on activities database used by more than 100 instructors at more than 50 institutions, and he is one of the founding members of the Consortium for the Advancement of Undergraduate Statistics Education, which was started in 2003. It is my pleasure to invite Carl to the podium to receive the HIMO Award. Congratulations. Would you like to say a few? It's going to be a short award ceremony thing. <laughs> Our third high mo award is Jennifer Switkus of Cal Poly Pomona. We honor Jennifer today for bringing her educational core values of excellence, honor, integrity, love, and purpose to all students, 
and specifically to traditionally underserved students. In addition to her outstanding teaching and scholarly work at Cal Poly Pomona, which has greatly influenced numerous students there, Jennifer has impacted the lives of many through her teaching regionally and internationally through the Prison Education Project. It is my pleasure to present this HIMO Award to Jennifer Switkus. Congratulations. Great. Thank you so much. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the MAA and also to thank our department chair at Cal Poly Pomona in the mathematics department, Dr. Barrett Givens. She couldn't be here today, and so I wanted to be able to express my thanksgiving for her um, extraordinary leadership that makes it possible for all of us to thrive. So thank you again so much. I now turn our attention to the Eugene Gung and Dr. Charles Y. Hugh Award for Distinguished Service to Mathematics. This award is intended to be the most prestigious award for service offered by the MAA. It honors distinguished contributions to mathematics and mathematics education. The 2019 Gung and Hu Award is presented to Philip Uri Treisman for his extraordinary leadership in strengthening mathematics and science education throughout the K-20 spectrum supporting mathematics achievement and equity for historically disenfranchised groups and promoting innovation, productive partnerships, and community service. Although Yuri's influence and leadership in mathematics education are far-reaching, he may be best known for his seminal research on factors that support high achievement for students historically disenfranchised in mathematics, which earned him the 1987 Charles A. Dana Award for Pioneering Achievement in American Higher Education. He was named a MacArthur Fellow in 1992 to recognize his innovative work in improving post-secondary mathematics instruction, especially for ethnic minority students. Along with his numerous achievements in mathematics education research, Uri continues to be recognized for his outstanding teaching. In 2016, he was named a Minnie Stevens Piper Professor, one of only 10 professors in Texas selected each year for their superior teaching. In 2017, he received the prestigious University of Texas System Regents Outstanding Teaching Award. After over 30 years of teaching at the college level, Yuri continues to be recognized as an outstanding teacher and mentor. It is my privilege to present the 2019 Gung and Hu Award to Uri Treisman. <laughs> um, it's humbling. I want to thank the MAA for this recognition, which has special meaning for me, because Leon Henkin, who was my thesis advisor, mentor, and the model for my career, received this recognition in 1991. He and my career is a pale reflection of his. He told me that I'd be happiest if I figured out how to devote my life equally to creating new knowledge to education and to service, and to find the best people to work with in each domain. So I have been able to work with 22 of the previous recipients of this award, and I feel like I'm the beginning of the second generation of it. Congratulations to our prize winners. AWM President Amy Radinskaya will now present prizes and awards given by the Association for Mathematics, Association for Women in Mathematics. You, Deanna. I'm delighted to be here to announce the prize winners for three AWM prizes this afternoon. And in doing so, I want to acknowledge all the work done by our selection committees, by all the people who nominated folks for prizes, and all those people who wrote letters. So thank you for, I know there are a bunch of you out there. <clears throat> so the AWM Louise Hay Award recognizes outstanding achievement in mathematics education. Louise Hay was widely recognized for her contributions to mathematical logic and her leadership of the University of Illinois. Uh, Chicago Math Department. She was also known for a lifelong commitment to nurturing young talent. The AWM presents this award yearly to highlight the importance of mathematics education and to evoke the memory of all that Hay exemplified as a teacher, scholar, administrator, and human being. 
I'm pleased to present the 2019 Louise Hay Award to Jacqueline Dewar in recognition of her many achievements as a professor, a leader in outreach programs, and a scholar of teacher and learning, teaching and learning. In her 40 years as faculty member at Loyola Marymount University, Professor Dewar has advocated for active learning, initiated a biomathematics program, and developed courses in computer literacy, the history of women in mathematics, and mathematics in civic engagement. Thousands of girls and their teachers have attended outreach events organized by Professor Dewar, such as the Math Science Interchange and Expanding Your Horizons Day in Los Angeles. She's led workshops to train future leaders and has worked on national initiatives to improve the preparation of mathematics and science teachers. Without a doubt, Jacqueline Dewar exemplifies the tradition of Louise Hay. Jackie, please step forward to receive the Louise Hay Award. And you can come back. Thank you. I want to acknowledge and thank the many collaborators that I've had over the years uh, across this broad spectrum of work that gets labeled mathematics education. Many were faculty at institutions ranging from K-12 schools to community colleges and to four-year universities. Some were staff. And of course, there were the students. I also want to thank the colleagues who nominated me for the Hay Award. Um, they made it possible for me to receive this wonderful recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The M. Gwyneth Humphreys Award celebrates and honors mathematicians who've made an exceptional, exceptional contribution to the mentoring of undergraduate mathematics students. It's presented by the AWM in honor of Gwyneth Humphreys, an exceptionally talented mathematician who spent all of her long career teaching mathematics to women. This award is funded by contributions from her former students and colleagues at Randolph-Macon Women's College. Sorry. I'm delighted to present this year's Humphreys Award to Suzanne Weeks. Professor Weeks has been on the Worcester Polytechnic Institute faculty since 1998, when she has led initiatives to bring students into research and personally guided many undergraduate projects. Professor Weeks is a founding co-director of the deeply impactful MSRI UP program devoted to cultivating heretofore untapped mathematical talent, with a focus on communities traditionally underrepresented in mathematics. Professor Weeks, current and former students had a range of moving tributes to offer. My favorite is simple and powerful. Prof Weeks is our champion. Suzanne Weeks exemplifies the tradition of Gwyneth Humphreys and the AWM is proud to pay tribute to her exceptional track record of support, guidance, and inspiration. Suzanne, please come forward to ex accept your award. So I'd like to thank my colleagues and former students and mentees for taking the time to nominate me to write letters. I know that takes time, because it certainly takes time on our end to write you letters, students. So I really appreciate that. And for to the NSF, the DOD, um, Claire Booth Luce, all these organizations who fund us so that I, we are able to work not just with students in our institutions, but programs like MSRI Up and all these other REU programs that we have the opportunity to, to work with students. And again, thank you to the students for allowing me to meddle in their lives, pretty much, and to take and reject advice <laughs> as they see fit. So thank you very much, and thank you to the AWM for recognizing me. The AWM Berman Prize in Topology and Geometry is awarded biennially, biennially to recognize exceptional research in topology and geometry by a woman early in her career. The award is made possible by a generous contribution from Joan and Joseph Berman. I'm happy to present 
to announce that this year's award winner is Catherine Mann for breakthrough work in the theory of dynamics of group actions on manifolds. Professor Mann's unable to be here today, but let's congratulate her on her excellent work. And now I'll turn the stage over to Lisa, Lisa Fauci, Siam president. Thank you, Amy. I'm very pleased to be here today representing Siam. The Frank and Brenny Morgan Prize for Outstanding Research in Mathematics by an undergraduate student recognizes and encourages outstanding mathematical research by an undergraduate. It is awarded jointly by the AMS, the MAA, and Siam. The 2019 Morgan Prize is awarded to Ravi Jagadisan of Harvard University for his fundamental contributions in pure and applied mathematics. Ravi's research is in an algebraic geometry, statistical theory, mathematical economics, number theory, and combinatorics. He earned a gold medal at the International Mathematical Olympiad and was a Putnam Fellow. He is currently enrolled in Harvard's PhD program in business economics. Ravi, please step forward. It is a great honor to receive the 2019 Morgan Prize. I'd like to thank Mrs. Morgan, as well as the AMS, MAA, and SIAM for establishing this prize and recognizing me. I would also like to thank my many mentors, including Marcus Bueller, Noah Melkies, Jonathan Mboyo Esol, Pavel Ettingoff, Zuming Fung, John Giannakopoulos, Tristan Gisa, Jerry Green, Joel Lewis, Akil Matthew, Natesh Pillai, John Rickert, David Spivak, Stephanie Stancheva, Alex Tableboim, Alex Volkovsky, Xing Tang Gao, and especially Scott Commoners for their advice and support over the years. I'm grateful to the MIT Program for Research in Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, the Research Science Institute, and the Harvard Center of Mathematical Sciences and Applications for providing excellent work environments and hospitality. Most of all, I'd like to thank my family, including my wonderful grandparents, parents, and sister, for their love and support. In addition, Evan Chen and Hui Tuan Pham are each awarded a 2019 mortgage, Morgan Prize Honorable Mention. Evan Chen is a PhD student at MIT, where he also completed his undergraduate work. His research is in combinatorics and number theory. Evan won a gold medal at the IMO and is author of the book, Euclidean Geometry in Mathematical Olympiads. Evan, please step forward. I would like to thank AMS, MAA, and Siam, and Mrs. Morgan for this wonderful prize and this recognition. Um, while I'm here, I would like to thank Ken Ono and Joe Gallion for their constant mentorship and support over the last several years, and as well my high school mentors, Po Shen Lo, Yan Zeng, Zevda Stankova, and Zuming Feng. Thank you. Hui Tuan Pham was an undergraduate at Stanford University where he will begin his PhD studies in the fall. His research in additive combinatorics won the Kennedy Thesis Prize. He is currently studying at the University of Cambridge and could not be here today to receive the award, but let's thank him. Congratulations. <laughs> the Joint Policy Board for Mathematics, the JPBM, represents the AMS, the ASA, the MAA, and SIAM. Its communication award was established to reward and encourage communicators who bring mathematical ideas and information to non-mathematical audiences. The 2019 JPBM Communications Award goes to Margot Lee Shetterly for her book and subsequent movie, Hidden Figures. Shetterly will be on hand Saturday morning at JMM to receive her award. The presentation will take place at 
11 a.m. in room 309 of the Baltimore Convention Center, followed by an hour onstage interview. The public is invited to her presentation and event, a highlight of the full day of free Mathematicon events sponsored by the JMM. So hope you can all be there. Okay, so next, the AMS Cyan Norbit Wiener Prize in Applied Mathematics. This is awarded for an outstanding contribution to applied mathematics in the highest and broadest sense. Our first recipient of the 2019 Wiener Prize is Marsha Berger, who is being honored for her fundamental contributions to adaptive mesh refinement and to Cartesian mesh techniques for automating the simulation of compressible flows in complex geometries. Berger, as one of the inventors of AMR, provided the mathematical foundations and algorithms that made it possible to solve many otherwise intractable simulation problems. She is part of the team that created CART-3D, a NASA code that was instrumental in understanding the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster. She also helped build GeoClaw, an open source project for wave modeling that is used to simulate tsunamis. Marsha, please accept your award. I am honored to be among the recipients of the Norbert Wiener Prize. To go from the difficult early years of my career to receiving this wonderful award today is a real thrill. I want to thank the people who supported me that made this possible today, and I also want to thank my wonderful collaborators who made it so much fun. So thank you. The second 2019 Wiener Prize is awarded to Arkady Nemirovsky for fundamental contributions to high dimensional optimization and for discovery of key phenomena in the theory of signal estimation and recovery. Nemirovsky is hailed as a powerful and original developer of the mathematics of high dimensional optimization. He and his co-workers co-authors are credited with inventing the ellipsoid method used to show that linear programs can be solved in polynomial time, with extending interior point methods used to establish that semi-definite programs are solvable in polynomial time, and with inventing methods of robust optimization to address problems in which the solution may be very sensitive to problem data. Arkady has also made seminal contributions in mathematical statistics. Please come and accept your award. Okay, this is the greatest honor I got in my life, so I am extremely grateful to him since I am bestowing on me this honor. And also, I want to express my deepest gratitude to excellent colleagues I have uh, had uh, honor and privilege to work over the years. First of all, Yuri Nesterov, Aron Bental, Anatoly Yudhitsky. I owe to those people uh, for the, the valuable contributions to our joint research and for many years of friendship. And, uh, okay, I cannot repay this debt. I only, well, the only thing I can is to acknowledge it. Thank you. Congratulations to our joint prize winners. AMS Pre President Kenneth Rivett will now present prizes and awards given by the American Mathematical Society. Thank you very much, Lisa. Our first two prizes from the American Math Society are for exceptional exposition. The first is the Levi L. Conant Prize which is awarded for the best expository paper published in either the notices of the AMS or the bulletin of the AMS in the preceding five years. The 2019 prize is awarded to Alexander Wright for his bulletin article, From Rational Billiards 
to dynamics on moduli spaces. This article is an expository account of the 2013 breakthrough by Eskin, Mizarkhani, and Mohammadi on the structure of the orbit closure of a translation service. Surface. Wright's account is both brief and clear. It gives a panoramic view of the theory of translation surfaces, provides historical contexts, and discusses applications. It makes connections with algebraic geometry, Teichmuller theory, and ergodic theory. It is a good entry point for non-specialists and a guide to further reading for specialists and bystanders. Alex, please step forward to accept your prize. Our next prize is the E.H. Moore Research Article Prize. It's awarded for an outstanding research article to have appeared in one of the AMS primary research journals during the six calendar years ending a full year before this meeting. The 2019 Moore Prize is awarded to Cyprian Manolescu for his paper Pin 2 Equivariant cyborg witten Floor Homology and the Triangulation Conjecture published in the Journal of the American Math Society. The triangulation conjecture asks whether, in every dimension, there exists a topological manifold that does not admit a simplicial tri triangulation. In this paper, the author introduced powerful new invariants to solve a 1970s conjecture about the homology cobordism groups due to Galeski, Stern, and Madumoto. In doing so, Manolescu resolved the triangulation conjecture in all dim dimensions. Please step forward to accept your prize. Our next prize is the AMS Mary C. Dolciani Prize for Excellence in Research. This prize is a brand new AMS prize. It recognizes a mathematician who has a distinguished record of scholarship and who resides in a department that does not grant a PhD. The 2019 Dulciani Prize is awarded to Stefan Ramon Garcia for his research in operator theory, complex analysis, matrix theory, and number theory. For high quality scholarship with a diverse set of undergraduates, and for his service to the profession. Garcia has made significant contributions to several areas, including the structure theory for complex symmetric operators, geometric lattice theory, the theories of exponential sums and arithmetic quotient sets, and the behavior of the euler totian near prime arguments. Garcia has co-authored four books and written more than 29 research articles with undergraduates. Stefan, please step forward to accept your award. I'll try to keep this brief. Uh, it's a great honor to receive the inaugural prize, and I thank the AMS. I also thank my family for their constant support and affection. I thank my many, many students for constantly keeping, my, keeping me on my toes and asking me many great questions. And lastly, I thank all of my many collaborators and co-authors and mentors over the year from whom I've learned so much. The David P. Robbins Prize is awarded for an article that reports on novel research in algebra, combinatorics, or discrete mathematics, has a significant experimental component, and is on a topic that is broadly accessible. The 2019 Robbins Prize is awarded to Roger Berend, Ilse Fischer, and Maciej Konvalinka. I want to say that when people come up to accept their prize, they have the opportunity to correct my pronunciation of their names. The title of the article is Diagonally and Anti-Diagonally Symmetric Alternating Sign Matrices of Odd Order, published in 2017 in Advances of Mathematics. In this work, the three authors prove after more than 30 years 
the last remaining of David Robbins' conjectures on alternating sign matrices. Quoting from the Robbins 1991 survey, these conjectures are of such compelling simplicity that it is hard to understand how any mathematician can bear the pain of living without understanding why they are true. All had been proven by 2006, with the exception of the conjecture resolved in the paper for which the Robbins Prize is now awarded. Three authors, please step forward to accept your prize. So we're extremely honored to receive this recognition of our work on alternating sign matrices. In fact, the initials of alternating sign matrix are A, S, M, and the initials of American Mathematical Society are A, M, S. So up to a simple transposition, they're the same, but we're not sure whether there's any deep significance to that. In any case, we're extremely grateful to the AMS for recognizing our research on ASMs and also to David Robbins, who pioneered the study of ASMs and which this award, uh, who this award commemorates. Finally, uh, we'd like to thank our colleagues and our families, including Anna, Danielle, and Rachel. Thank you. <coughs> Our next prize is the Oswald Veblen Prize in Geometry, given for notable research work in geometry or topology that has been published in a recognized, peer-reviewed venue during the past six years. The 2019 Veblen Prize is awarded to Xu Shang Chen, Simon Donaldson, and Song Sun for the three-part series entitled Kahler Einstein Metrics on Fano Manifolds 1, 2, and 3 published in 2015 in the Journal of the American Mathematical Society. These three articles together solve the Kähler-Einstein problem for Fano manifolds, described as the biggest result in Kähler geometry since Yao's solution of the Kalabi conjecture 35 years earlier. Chen, Donaldson, and Sun prove that a Fano manifold ex admits a Kähler-Einstein metric if and only if it is K-stable. The work is already having a huge impact that is expected to grow with time. Please step forward to accept your award. Thank you, Ken, and thank you to the uh, American Mathematical Society for this award. Oswald Vesblin was a central figure in the development of mathematics in America, and it's a huge honor for us to join the line of uh, <coughs> great mathematicians who have been awarded this prize set up in his memory. Our work, cited in the award, answers a question going back to Kalabi in the 1950s, and building on the contributions of many, many mathematicians over the past half century. We feel very fortunate and privileged to have been able to play a part in this long story. But this is a beginning as much as an end, and we are happy that there are many new directions opening up which point to an exciting and rosy future for this particular area of geometry uh, for years, years to come. Thank you. We come now to the Ruth Little Satter Prize in Mathematics, established by Joan Berman in memory of her sister. It recognizes an outstanding contribution to mathematics research by a woman in the previous six years. The 2019 Satter Prize is awarded to Marina Vyasovska for her groundbreaking work in discrete geometry and her spectacular solution to the sphere packing problem in Dimension 8. Vyasovska's work has been described as simply magical, 
very beautiful and extremely unexpected. Her solution to the sphere packing problem in Dimension 8, while conceptually simple, has a deep structure based on certain functions that she explicitly constructed in terms of modular forms. It establishes a new, unanticipated connection between modular forms and discrete geometry. Vyazovska has been the recipient of numerous awards, including most recently a 2018 New Horizons Prize in Mathematics. Marina, please accept your award. So thank you very much. It's a great honor for me. So I would like to thank my colleagues who nominated me for this prize. Also my teachers, my collaborators, and of course my family for their support. Thank you. We now have the Leroy P. Steele Prize for Seminal Contribution. This prize for a seminal contribution to research is awarded for a paper that is proved to be of fundamental or lasting importance in its field. The 2019 prize is awarded to Haruzo Hida for his highly original paper, Gawa Representations into GL2 ZP double bracket X, ZP being the ring of piatic integers, attached to ordinary cusp forms, published in 1986 in Invenciones Mathematicae. In this paper, Hida made the fundamental discovery that ordinary cusp forms occur in piatic analytic families. The methods he introduced have been used in the past three decades to solve fundamental problems in the theory of piatic Galois representations and piatic L functions. They have led to progress on piatic analogs of the conjecture of Birch and Swinnert and Dyer. Hida families are now ubiquitous in the arithmetic theory of automorphic forms, and his research has changed the way we view the subject. Baruzzo, please step forward to accept your award. Thank you very much. I'd rather like to thank actually the people, those who found a lot of good applications of my results. I wrote my paper in 1981 but nobody believed it, and uh, it was published in 1986. 1981 is just one year after my PhD year, and I was clever. I have a fond memory of it. And uh, it's amazing, I'm still doing mathematics because of the help of a lot of people. Anyway, I thank you very much. The Leroy P. Steele Prize for Mathematical Exposition is awarded for a book or substantial survey or expository research paper. The 2019 Prize for Mathematical Exposition is awarded to Philippe Flageolet, posthumously, and to Robert Sedgwick for their book, Analytic Combinatorics. Analytic Combinatorics is an authoritative and highly accessible compendium of its subject which demonstrates the deep interface between combinatorial mathematics and classical analysis. The authors have combined their extraordinary analytical and expository skills to organize the entire subject into a well-developed and fascinating theory. Its publication in 2009 was a major event. As a result, analytic combinatorics is now a thriving subdiscipline of combinatorial and stochastic mathematics as well as a key component in the analysis of algorithms. Robert Sedgwick is here to accept the award. Please step forward. I'm, I'm honored and humbled to receive this award. I, as I said in my response, uh, it's a bittersweet moment because my friend Philippe uh, is not here. Uh, he was very, very proud of this book, and I know he would be very proud uh, to be receiving this award. Uh, also not here are my parents, uh, both math professors starting in the 1930s. I know they would be extremely proud to, you know, for me to be receiving this award. 
Creating this book with Philippe was nothing less than an adventure. Uh, over a period of 25 years, it involved traveling back and forth between Providence and Paris and Palo Alto and Princeton, uh, often with three or four little boys in tow. Uh, so I have to thank uh, one person who is here. Uh, that's my wife, Linda, who was my partner you know, in this effort. Uh, without her love and support, it wouldn't have been possible for me to work on this book. We now come to the Leroy P. Steele Prize for Lifetime Achievement. It's awarded for the cumulative influence of the total mathematical work of the recipient. The 2019 Steele Prize for Lifetime Achievement is awarded to Jeff Cheeger for his fundamental contributions to geometric analysis and their far-reaching influence on related areas of mathematics. Jeff Cheeger is a central figure in differential geometry and more broadly in geometric analysis. Cheeger's work includes spectacular results, such as the Sol theorem, the splitting theorem, and the compactness and collapsing theories. These results have had far-reaching consequences, for instance, playing an essential role in Perelman's resolution of the Poincaré conjecture. Cheeger's inequality bounding the first non-zero eigenvalue of the Laplacian has numerous applications. His work on, for example, the Hodge theory and spectral geometry of singular spaces the Racinger conjecture, the theory of differential characters, and the differentiability of Lipsch Lipschitz functions has given us fundamental tools that have enabled major advances in geometry and analysis over the past 30 years, and which continue to bear fruit and shape the field. Jeff, please come forward and accept our congratulations. So it's a great honor to have been awarded the Leroy Steele Prize for Lifetime Achievement. I want to thank all of my collaborators. The honor is theirs as well. Uh, I was introduced to mathematics by my father, Thomas Cheeger, who was a structural engineer. My mother, Pauline Cheeger, stressed to me the importance of hard work. As an undergraduate, Shlomo Sternberg and Raoul Bott started me on differential geometry and algebraic topology. But beyond that, they conveyed the feeling that being a mathematician was something like being a member of a special order, an order into which one could hope one day to be initiated. In graduate school, apart from my official advisor, Solomon Bachner, my teacher was Jim Simons, and I owe him a lot. From the time I was young, I was struck by the fact that in mathematics, there's a right and a wrong answer. And this has a consequence. With small exceptions, we as mathematicians tend to genuinely admire each other's achievements. Another thing, as mathematicians, we have quite direct access to some of the most original minds of the past and present. And finally, we get to think about what we want and to interact with brilliant young people. I feel very fortunate to have had a life in mathematics. And lastly, I want to thank my wife, Shirley, for all her love and support. I'd like to congratulate once again the winners of this year's AMS prizes, and in fact, to all the prize winners. Deanna Hounsberger will now make some closing remarks. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for attending this year's prize session. I wasn't, oh, pardon me. I want to uh, close by inviting you all to the prize reception, which immediately follows this session. I wish you the very best for the remainder of the joint meetings here in Baltimore. Let's thank all of our winners once again. <laughs>